Hey everybody, it's the Man Master here. I'm doing a video today as a follow-up to my prior video about Tom Morello and Ted Nugent. So it turns out there was some hilarity that ensued with regards to social media in regards to his admission. Which actually, the irony about this admission though, is that I guess he admitted to this in 2017, but now because fucking screwed up as a society so much now people are, are attacking him for this so i really object to what's been said here so i guess there was a <laughs> a twitter someone a twitter uh person that describes herself as a social justice warrior you know this could be all trolling this could be a like actual like making fun like Pushing, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like some type of like right winger, like almost like just doing a parody account and like <laughs> accusing uh, Tom Morello of, of this. They accuse accuse him of white privilege, quote unquote. I mean, it's you know it's one of those uh, it's one of those things that um, I forgot what the you know, forgetting all these things. Like I forgot the the horseshoe theory in that last last uh video about the tom morello thing it was called horseshoe theory i'm trying to remember what you know there's a lot of different theories going on <laughs> but you know it's like parody has become so you know weird that like we don't even know at this point i don't really prepare these videos right now like i'm gonna start like i said i was gonna do that so i can't remember all these things but you know parodies parodies have become i mean the line between parody and fucking not parody is pretty thin now you know so who knows but i'm gonna look i'm gonna read this uh article from spin magazine it was basically what they said <laughs> um it's hilarious because this twitter user the real nubian oh criticized him the guitarist who espouses right smart okay for his accuser identifies on Twitter as she, her, feminist SJW, not an American, but will talk shit anyways. Now that now that I read that, I think it was a real person because they would be exaggerated. They would probably use the pronoun. <laughs> if they're a right-wing parody account, they'd probably just put in a different... I mean, they have a pronoun, but they would use a different pronoun, obviously, if they're a right-winger. I mean, if I were a right-winger doing a parody of that shit, I'd put it in the fucking pronoun. <laughs> Attack helicopter. <laughs> that whole meme. So what's funny about this, you know, him being, a, and he did respond, um, you know, his, uh, her saying that he has white privilege and that's why, you know, he can say he's friends with Ted Nugent and all this stuff. But the, the more, the more hilarious thing is like his three word response in this Spin Magazine article says he only had this, this three word, it actually gave him praise, which was kind of funny. I thought it was hilarious. It's like, I'm not white. <laughs> it's like it, it makes a big deal out of his whole fucking like response to this 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 uh twitter troll and i'm just laughing because it's so hilarious it's everything's just becomes so crazy so it's really funny because uh i guess there was a, a couple of other things that um there was some kind of african front. wait no that's him okay no, he's talking about his friendship. I thought it was said, Kai, Kaku Yu Ken, Kenyan, who's from Kenya. That's, I guess that's Tom Morello's father. Um, but this is pretty funny. Nugent concurs telling Guitar World in 2019, you know who my genuine American blood brother is? <laughs> Tom Morello. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm throwing my hands in the air. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and it's awesome. I love it. I love it because I think uh, I think they should troll the fucking world, both these two people. I mean, I don't agree with Ted Nugent, and I think he has said some things that are just fucking ridiculous at times and completely off the wall. Could be construed as racist. I'm sorry, that's just the way it goes. I mean, he's said a lot of weird stuff. At the same time, he's contradictory. You know, he has he has a black friend. His name is Tom Morello, <laughs> and so does Tom Morello has his fucking you know. Ted Nugent as a friend, <laughs> and it's just hilarious. I just, I just think, I think they should both do a song. 
and it's not you know there's a john lennon song that i'm not going to mention because you know censorship but don't call me blank blank don't call me blank blank and it's from the 70s and uh i think uh ice t and and perry farrell did this song at the first Lollapalooza, which would never happen. They would never do a song like this at any Lollapalooza. In 1991, I remember reading about that. So it's pretty funny, but they should do a song together. Not that song, because that would be pretty stupid, but um, I think they should do a song together just to troll everybody on every political extreme side and just like <laughs> completely like fucking just fuck with people so much. It'd be so hilarious. If Ted Nugent came out with Tom Morello and did like an album together, like they both like, and they, you know, what would be even funnier is that they both like put their political points of view in one song together. Like one line, one of them would sing one line, and one of them would sing the next line. It just like confuse the fuck out, confuse the fuck out of everybody. I think it would be fucking awesome. I mean, I think, I think this whole thing just, it's just a, it's just like clown world, but I love, I love stuff like this because I think it's great. Because I think it just it just blows people's minds and they don't know how to respond and react. That's any good thing should happen. And you know, I'm not a, I'm not a biggest like I said in a previous video. I'm not a huge Rage Against the Machine fan. I'm not a and but I am somewhat of a Ted Nugent fan as far as Amboy Dukes. Um, I think Tom Morello seems like an interesting guy. I've heard he's I've heard some differing accounts of people meeting him where they said certain things about him and stuff or. I've heard he's nice. I've heard he's an asshole. It's like anybody like, I mean, it's not like Glenn Danzig where like half the people say they've met him and he wanted to punch him in the face or whatever. Actually, I have heard some good stories about Glenn Danzig too, ironically, from one of my old managers before I worked. He met him and he said he was the nicest guy. I think he's just really moody. But Tom Morello, I've heard some deferring accounts, but it doesn't matter really because like, it's, it's one of those, <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. This story is just so hilarious. I, you know, I think uh, we need more people doing this kind of thing, just coming out and just proclaiming their whole thing here. But let's get back to this whole thing that he has white privilege. Um, I guess there are some on the fringe, really fringe parts of the left that are saying you don't have to be white to have white privilege now. And um, it's this is all a distraction because really all these woke SJW politics are doing is distracting from the real enemy and that's the elites the powers that be the fucking corporations the you know financier financiers and all those people and they're using these things oh like look over here you know while we steal your money why we don't give you money i mean look at the fucking stimulus where's the stimulus they said a week after biden was elected they send two thousand dollar checks that was words from the democratic party in georgia you know and you know where they're still finagling all this thing they have the majority now and they're worse than i mean they're almost worse than trump was with all this shit i mean fucking i mean with mnuchin and mcconnell and all that stuff so it's kind of ridiculous to you know they're just these culture wars are all a distraction you know kyle kalinsky was talking about the dr seuss thing <laughs> and the dr seuss thing is ridiculous too i mean it was the dr seuss uh book company that actually did like stop making those books so at least it was like not some outside force or company or corporation or government that did this but you know it's kind of ridiculous i mean those those books will go up in price believe believe it i mean believe me they'll go up in price i mean they already have i looked i actually looked it up because i wanted to buy because <laughs> i've been buying stuff i bought like some of the banned magic cards i didn't buy the more most infamous one but uh magic the gathering i bought a couple of the I think it was a Pradish Gypsies one. Um, I bought the Gina Carano uh, uh, Cara Dune action figure. I'm trying to buy like, things that get banned all of a sudden. And it's hard because it's like you go on eBay and immediately it's $500 or whatever. You know? <laughs> so it's pretty ridiculous. But is Tom Morello going to get canceled now? I don't know. You know, I think he's done... I, I have mixed feelings about him. I, I think he's actually, he's actually a better guitarist than he puts on. Um, I heard his first band what was it called Lock Up. He can shred, you know. He had kind of a they were kind of like a living color, chili peppers, faith no more, almost like sort of metal metal ish band and he 
some of the lines, honestly, you know, sounded like something that would come out of a shred thing. I mean, I, you know, if if Tom Morello, Tom Morello likes all this metal and he talks about it all the time, he should do a metal album, do a, a regular metal album, not talking about politics at all on the album, or just do instrumental. You know, he should do that. He has a unique vision. You know, he's he did a lot of stuff. I mean, as far as guitar effects, I always liked Helios Creed. You know, a lot better than Tom Morello, but you know, that's just my metal elitism or whatever. I'm not metal, but you know, it's just it's just weird, but. I think it's entertaining, you know, this kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, people, it's it's kind of funny because people are not taking this person seriously. They read these articles. I mean, maybe, I'm sure there are a couple of people. But saying that he has white privilege, that's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, where do we draw, where do we draw the line? Let's say, like, half of the African Americans in, in America have, like, one speck of uh, uh, Anglo-Saxon in them. Does that make them not white? Or does that make them white? now just like it's just so stupid all these fucking debates and all these you know culture war uh identitarian you know debates identitarian uh uh identity politics and the real the real question is is class with this in this situation yeah tom morello went to fucking harvard he probably had somewhat rich parents you know somewhat upper middle class parents right i'm not you know i'm just assuming but for the most part, anybody that goes to Harvard is probably going to be upper middle class unless they get really fucking good scholarship, you know, and shit like that. And, you know, it's like Obama, <laughs> Obama have white privilege. <laughs> I mean, it's just so stupid. I mean, it's just, the, it's a joke at this point. And, and I'm glad because let's make fun of this shit. It's so fucking stupid. And I think it's hilarious. But I think, like in the, in the case of Ted Nugent, Henry Rollins is, is the same way with Ted Nugent, by the way, I should add some extent i mean henry rollins really likes ted nugent i mean have his comp you know have his spoken word he talked mentions ted nugent and shit like i was listening to the latest ted nugent on this on the stereo and went to this girl's house you know it's like him and da I mean, him and david lee roth he really likes it's like i mean this is like the the generation x alternative rocker guy other than blacks musician other than black sabbath you know was, was ted nugent pretty much i mean all these guys fucking worship Ted Nugent. <laughs> it's just the truth. People don't know that, but that's that is. If you read all these interviews in the '90s, it's him and like Ace Frehley and Black Sabbath, like and Kiss, you know, Kiss and Ace with Ace Frehley added in. And who's another right winger, by the way, too? Ross the Boss, total right winger. You know, I've had debates with Ross the Boss on fucking Facebook. <laughs> My father got involved one time. You know, it's ironic is right now, like, I probably am closer to Ross the Boss than many of the Democratic Party, than many people in the Democratic Party at, at this point, because of fucking bullshit that they pulled in last year, and just all the hypocrisy and not supporting the people when they should have, you know, with these lockdowns and shit, regardless of whether you agree with lockdowns. If you don't agree with that, you're a fucking murderer. You know, if you don't agree, if you agree with lockdowns with no UBI, you're a fucking murderer, in my opinion. You're just as bad as someone not wearing a mask and being a spreader. But anyways, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, Ted Nugent, you know, whatever. You know, he's he's done some bad shit in his life and he's said some bad shit. But classic guitarist, um, Motor City Madman. I mean, he's called a madman. You know what you're going to get. It's like the fucking... Uh, it's like Gigi Allen, you know, you know, shit is gonna get thrown at you. Feces, <laughs> if you go to the show, he's a Motor City madman, for fuck's sake. But that's about all.